Hey everyone. Uh, I'm making this quick video. Just, I mean, this is something the old timers would probably know, but this is more for the uh, the newbies, the guys that maybe might not even know. This is. I'll give you a little story first on a little bit of background on this first. Uh, Last time that I had a uh, flat in the, uh, on the rear of the GOAT, KLR650, um, I threw that tube away, grabbed one of well, my, my last, well, I, it was my backup tube. I threw it in and it was I patched it a while back. I figured out, it's holding air, it should do me okay for a while. I'll order another tube. Well. Whenever I did that, I just happened to forget to order another tube. I mean, life's been busy. But, I had a brand new spare front tube. And I didn't, wasn't thinking at the time about this, though. The other day, whenever I was making the videos, my rant video and uh, everything, I was riding on a lot of new hot roads. That just been repaired, and the heat loosened up the patches on that the patch on that rear tire too. Well, I went to the doctor's, which he he let me loose. I don't have to worry about him no more. And I walked out, and I had a flat tire. I do have roadside assistance on the go, which includes towing, but uh, most of the tow trucks around here are not flatbeds. And I don't trust the one of the companies that do have the flatbeds. So I called up the wife and said, "Bring the SUV down, and uh, we'll figure out what to do with this." Because I mean, um, at the time the store's been shut down anyway for to buy another tube for it. And to be honest with you, I just didn't have the the money in my pocket for it at the time. But. Right after I got the phone, something did pop in my mind. I remembered that you can take a front tube and put it in the rear. Now, the front tube on a KLR, if you don't know, is, well, if it's stock, it's a 21-inch uh, tube. And the rear is a 17-inch. And actually, well, as you know, the rear is wider, too. too. It's a 4.0 to 5.0 and the front is just a narrow one. I think it's a uh, 2 point, well it's like a 2 point something to a 3. But anyway, whenever the wife got in and I didn't have any way to really get the goat up in the air, I could have laid her down. I really didn't want to do that in the parking lot. Um, I could have taken the box off. Yeah, if I would have had the extra hand, because I mean, I'm still healing up my left arm a little bit. I was told to take it easy, don't do any crazy things with it for at least up to six, eight months after surgery. So I had her, I drove back to the, my garage and uh, picked up a jack stand, which I, I'll be carrying a jack stand in my can now, just in case. But I found, and I switched the tube over. And limped it home. Now you do not want to be hard on the turns. You want to layer in. You don't want to. You want to take it easy. You want to keep your speed down. Be sensible about it. Just limp it home that way. Um, just figure out make this up for the newbies. I mean, it's all. Most bikes don't have the tubes. The, the dual sports normally do. Uh, just a little bit of a little bit of helpful hint for the foreigns guys that are just starting out. Hope somebody can use this video. This is Muzzle Mike. Have a great day and ride safe. Signing out.